Welcome back to episode 10 of Legit Brew Reviews. I'm Trevor. And I'm Matt. And today we're going to be doing local beers. Local to us. Yeah, to uh, us. Louisiana beers, if you will. Um, your locals are possibly different. Depending on where you're at. Unless you're in Louisiana. But uh, the point is we haven't had very many of our own local beers. Um, you know, you usually stick to like your one brand and then you don't like to, to, like to you know, search out. But... Today, that's what uh, this episode's about, is about trying the beers that are available in your area and um, supporting local breweries. Yeah, and I mean, and, and, and when you when you kind of go on that search, you go on that little, that little hunt, you find how many cities around you or just cities that you may not have, even have known have breweries in them are actually brewing beer. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's a cool thing, too. And, and, and we decided to go with the choices. We, we had endless choices. We have a lot of breweries around us. A lot of breweries. Um, but we went with these three because they are in probably three of the biggest cities of Louisiana. Yeah, we have Great Raft out of Shreveport, Louisiana, which you've had. Or we've had. Um, what, 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 what flavor was that? Um, we just had it the other day. Um, it is the one with the gentleman with the mustache on it. It's a, a black understandably lager. something. Under understandably, ah. it was really good. Yeah. Um, the the other one here we have. Um, this one here is the Voodoo. It's a APA. Yeah. This one's out of Baton Rouge. Yeah, that's um, right. and that's Tin Roof Brewing Company. Mm-hmm. And last and not least, we have Cajun Brewing's Freetown German Style Hellas Lager. Uh, That's Lafayette. Yeah, Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, I yeah. love Lafayette. Yeah, so we picked three different towns, three different cities, like Trevor said, that, that are the bigger cities um, that are known for brewing. They had, we had several other options, but we just kind of narrowed it down to three because we know you guys usually typically love watching 30-minute episodes. So uh, we try to stick to that in... Uh, no, if, if you didn't catch the sarcasm on that, we know you guys typically don't like longer episodes or do not prefer them. So we kind of narrowed it down to our top three big uh, big city beers. Well, let's jump right in. Yeah, let's jump in. Um, Which one first? You wanna, um, uh, I don't know. Why don't, we, why don't we go with Shreveport first since we mentioned it first? Hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, great raft. This is a Pilsner. Okay. Um, 12 fluid ounces. All right. Uh, five percent alcohol. Okay, cool. So, I was just about to ask. Five percent. Okay. So your standard, yeah. standard, yeah. standard beer alcohol. It's a cool little, a little banjo and a, and a what was that? A little grasshopper. Yeah, pretty they, cool. They, they definitely spent some time in their in their little uh, their their I don't want to say logo, but their the label, artist? their label art, oh, really proudly cool. handcrafted in Shreveport, Louisiana. Yeah. And that's coming to us today in a in a can here. Do you need some assistance the with this? The tab is slippery. You can use use that to just kind of get it started. I don't want to. But I'm gonna have to. Um, but yeah, this is coming to us in a in a nice little can. Um, Ooh, I, I got a whiff of that. Ooh. We didn't see it in in bottles, so I, I think it may be primarily in a can. It's probably only in a can. And, and if you guys haven't noticed, we do have some some fancy new. Uh, New mugs that we're drinking out of here. Yeah, um, really we, cool. we get to episode ten and we spice things up a little bit. I kind of right. like the color. Cloudy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It's a pilsner. Okay. I was about to say that the APA is coming up, but this is cloudy. Nice. Nice color on there. I know you already got a hint of the hint of the smell. I didn't even get any because it was over on that side. I just got what whiff came out see of the, the tab. Let's see what we got. Okay. I smell the uh, good citrus, citrusy smell. Yeah. A little bit of uh, maybe a little bitter. Yeah, that smells super good. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. There we go. Pretty good. Bitter. Yeah. It's it's much nice. Uh, sweet aftertaste too. Yeah, much more much more bitter than you would anticipate it being. Oh, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, what would you say? Just kind of starting it right off. There's no 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 time to to beat around the bush and banter at, at all. Like, what would you say? Um, I don't know. It's it's bitter. Uh, it is citrusy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's brewed with some kind of peels or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's very tart. Um, Almost kind of grapefruity a little yeah, bit. It's, Not so much orange. Yeah. Grapefruity kind of. It says it's a pilsner, but it's also kind of thick, don't you think? Yeah, it is. It is a little. Um, it is a little thick. I don't know if they give us any kind of any kind of um, a German influence. Mildly traditional, uh, southern brewed, wildly drinkable. 
Okay. Um, uh, they don't really give give you too much other than that it's a dry hopped pilsner. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, four out of five. I like it. I like it. It's I very mean, very drinkable. And the second taste is 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 better. Mm-hmm. Not that the first is bad, but the the you, you're not expecting the punch. But I I do like that aftertaste though. And the second sip was significantly better. I feel like it gets better the more you drink it, though, because you get to, like, kind of a pre... It's like you go back and you watch your favorite movie. Yeah. You analyze everything, and you, you know, see things you didn't quite catch before. It's or you get cool. excited for that part that you know you like. Yeah, when like it's coming up, you're like, oh, this part's coming oh, up. Watch, watch. here comes the tart. It's yeah. pretty much the same same deal. And mm-hmm. um, I like it. Four to five, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thoroughly like it. Uh, awesome taste. The smell's um, definitely there. Uh, very grapefruity, like we said. I, I enjoy it. Uh, I, I typically am not the one who, who number rates. If, if you guys haven't noticed that, that's usually a Trevor thing. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I would agree with his rating on that. Uh, four out of five is good. And would you buy a six-pack? Yeah, I probably would. This is very uh, porch drinkable beer. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely has that good outsidey, outsidey doing doing things out outside, <laughs> outsidey. Um, <laughs> you know, whether it's like cutting the grass or like doing something outdoorsy, I feel like this is a good good go to beer. So I could buy a six pack. But of nothing this too well. active because it is kind of thick. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's strangely, it's you know, it's oddly heavy. But um, yeah. yeah, I'd buy a six pack. Very good. Yeah, let me finish this up. You're already done here. Man, I. It's good. Yeah, we see you, Great Raft. Uh, we've we've had your your other, and we like this one, so we'll be uh, excited to to try more uh, things from you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, I love Baton Rouge. Wonderful city, great people. Uh, we got good old Tin Roof Brewing Company with Voodoo and American Pale Ale. I, I will go on the record and say this: I believe this is the first APA that we've had on the show. We if haven't not, had any other APAs. No, I don't think so. No. So that's awesome. Born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it says. Um, if you're curious about the alcohol by volume, this one's a 5.2. So they threw a little .2 in there. It's modest. And uh, yeah, it says, go local, drink tin roof beer. And they spelt go in the traditional Louisiana way. G-E-A-U-X. Cajun influenced. Here we go, guys. Uh Whoa! Hey, all right. Got a little bit of, little bit of explosion there. Explosion! All right. Color. Cloudy. Okay. Wow. This looks like a, like a, almost like a cream soda. Or right? Something. Look Doesn't how thick it? This is. Oh, and look at the. You can see the, the little floating around in there. The little. Uh huh. A little bit of. I don't know. Man, something oh man. In there. Let's see what's this going. Looks good. Let's see what's in it. Woo! Wow. Hey, in, in, tra- in traditional Cajun fashion, there. <laughs> you want to talk about citrusy though? Very much this, so. This is hitting me with those uh, pungent, super citrusy tones. Those pungent odors. Mm, okay, that's almost like a grapefruit and a orange kind of hybrid okay. going on. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's cheers. do this. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, that one's significantly um, more of a bitter taste. I don't know if I like this one. Yeah. In a weird way, it's almost like fermented orange juice. Yeah. Um, I I'll go ahead and start it off. I like the I like the the, the smells nice. The smells not bad. It it definitely is is bitter, uh, very uh, surprisingly bitter. Um, not it's not bad though. I I still don't want to even if it's not something I I kind of. I mean, just I because teeter. we don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah, it's not bad because I feel like it might be a little bit too bitter for me. Yeah, same. Um. But yeah, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't buy a six pack, unfortunately. Yeah. No disrespect to, to Tin Roof. Uh, yeah. What do you I'm, think? I mean, it's like you said, it's not bad. It's just not particularly what I like. It's mm-hmm. really bitter. It's really citrusy. It's like, um, oh, it's just it's too too sour. You know. You, you know, too. I don't know how many APAs I've natively had. I don't know if this is very true to an APA. Yeah, if it's typical. Or... Yeah, maybe this is what 
you know, APA yeah. fans seek out and they go for. Because I, I don't know that I've had very many, if not this being my first. I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, um, it's, it's something we'll have to check out. Would it's, you buy a six pack? Uh, no. No, pass it on the six pack as I, well. I don't even really want to finish that glass. Here on Legit Brew Reviews, uh. we, we, we natively don't waste beer. Um, except for that, uh, that scary domestics episode. If you haven't seen that, uh, be sure to go back and watch that because, uh, yeah, that was, uh, was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we're down to our last beer of the, the episode beer already. Last beer of the evening. Last beer of the episode. Um, I think it's, what is it? You. Oh, me. Yeah, because I just opened, I opened that one. Yeah, my memory's terrible. You know and that. this is, uh, this is going to be the, uh, Cajun Brewing's Cajun Brewing. Freetown German style Hellas Lager. Yeah. Cajun Brewing from, uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, here's a call. Okay, this almost looks like the the beer that we use on the uh, Legit Brew Reviews uh, little logo down there. Um, I don't know if it's down here or down here for you guys, but it's down in the corner somewhere. somewhere. Anyway, just compare for a moment. Right? Look at that. That Uh, This is a color I like. It's, you know, this is a color I'm familiar and comfortable with. Yeah. Let's put our noses in there. Mm Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I can I can smell the uh, the the fact that I am gonna like this one. I hope so. I really hope I do. I've never had a German style Hellas Lager out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Thank you. Wow. There's a lot of there's a lot going on there. A lot of stuff going on here. Let's see what we got. Freetown is a crisp, clean, malty, golden lager with a touch of sweetness and a soft hint of subtle, spicy floral hops in the background. You gathered that? You gathered I've that? gathered it all. Uh, a restrained bitterness helps keep the balance malty but not sweet, making this beer smooth and refreshing. Named after a historic neighborhood in our hometown of Lafayette, Louisiana, Freetown is the perfect beer to pair with any dish. Any dish? Any dish. Well, so if you're eating dishes, <laughs> you can pair this with any type of dish that you decide to eat. I have to say, this is probably my most favorite out of the three. Yeah, I would agree. Um, it's I mean, closer to what we natively like. Though. I like lagers. Yeah, so. I, I think I think it's safe to say that. I, I primarily prefer a lager, too. Yeah. Whether it's a darker lager or... Mm-hmm. Um, American lager or German lager or yeah. lager lager any kind of lager 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 I like this one mm-hmm. this one's good color taste smell everything I, I gotta give it like a you know four out of five it's super good mm-hmm. yeah I agree um, I, I would highly rate it too I'd probably buy a six pack of this too I could see comfortably buying a six pack of this especially compared to any of the other ones, even though even though I did like the Great Raft yeah. one, Great I did Raff prefer that really one good. over the other one. And I would like to see other things from Tin Roof, though. Yeah, I would like to try some other. I mean, things they have a there. bunch of other different uh, styles, and, and you know, so I mean, that's something that we're just gonna have to look into. Um, but yeah, guys, um, leave us some comments down below and let us know what you thought of the episode. Support local breweries. Yeah, support your local breweries. Yeah. Um, uh, leave in the comments and let us know some of the beers that you guys uh, get to experience local wherever you live. And for our Louisiana people, let us know about you know other uh, beers that that and other local breweries. Yeah, or or what is your favorite Louisiana beer? If you're from Louisiana, what, what's something that you prefer locally brewed? Yeah, uh, we always like sure. to hear you know hear from other people. Next week uh, we have um, our Belgium. Yeah. Belgian um, yeah. beer episode. Yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. Super fun. Just to kind of position for next week. Um, we will not be having to end the season, we will not be having a viewer beer of the week. And the reason being is because these Belgian beers are very high in alcohol content. Yeah. We won't go into the high the the we'll we'll wait till next week for that. But they are much higher. Um, and we're drinking three of them. So, um, 
sorry, but we can't. Uh, we're not gonna do a viewer beer of the week as well because we don't know where we'll be yeah. on the totem pole of uh, toasted um, by the end of that episode. I liked that the totem pole of toasted. Yeah, totem pole of toasted. I just yeah. made that up. Copyright. Yeah. TM. Trademark. <laughs> but uh, until next week, guys, I'm Matt. I'm Trevor. And we'll be drinking with you. Take care, guys. See you later. This one is good. It's almost like little remnants of honey in there. Oh, there's honey in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bother. Oh, bother. There's honey in the beer, piglet. <laughs> Booze and alcoholic. <laughs>